say my my journey to this conclusion that we're discussing uh, started with uh, my work investigating the Mondragon co-ops. So I visited them about 15 years ago and that was a defining moment in, in my academic career because a lot of people know that they are industrial worker co-ops but what they don't understand is that the infrastructure around them is based on multi-stakeholder principles. So the bank that supports them, the university and the education system that supports them, and the retail networks are all structured as multi-stakeholder cooperatives with uh, two or three stakeholders. So uh, the university, you've got students, you've got lecturers, and you've got supporting co-ops. In the bank, you've got both consumers and producers represented at board level and as members. Um, and the bank, you also have worker and consumer members on the board. So I took that um, to heart that uh, multi-stakeholder institutions create a resilient cooperative network. And over the years, we've evolved our own version of this called the Fair Shares Model. Um, and there are four examples I can give you. So the first of those examples um, is the AnyShare Society in the USA. So this is a, an Australian and American who've incorporated a cooperative society um, and they have created a sharing platform, a platform on the internet for the sharing economy. And they have coders who are the employees, the labor shareholders, if you like. They have users, the people who are using the sharing economy platform, and they have a voice. Then they ha allow people to invest money, and they have a special voice for the founders. So there are four stakeholders, each with a voice, each with a dividend right, each with voting rights. And that's up and running and uh, beginning to um, convert. So they've got 17,000 members from a previous project. They're now bringing them across over onto the AnyShare platform. The second one is in Ireland, and it's a music streaming site called Resonate, resonate.is. And they have a very neat system. You, you join as a musician who produces music, so you want to basically share your music with the world, or you're a listener, and you want to listen to independent music. But when you join as a producer, musician, or as a listener, as a user, um, you also get asked if you want to buy an investment. So having uh, joined in your, in your productive capacity, you then get asked if you want to buy investor shares. So you can become an investor and a listener or an investor and a producer. And of course, there are founders there as well who have a voice and they've incorporated that. In there. Um, then there's two other projects I'll mention briefly, one of which is your own. The third one is a project in uh, Nairobi, uh, it's called the Human Needs Project. This is still at the idea stage, but they are completely invested in the fair shares model because what they want is a collaborative venture between an American NGO that's the founder. And this is run by um, somebody called Marcelo, who's a Brazilian lawyer, and Connie Nielsen, who's an American actress. Uh, they want the local producers to be Labour members, so they get membership rights and dividend rights through the goods and services that they introduce into uh, the Human Needs Project. Um, and then the people who buy those goods and services will also become members of a cooperative, a local cooperative that will benefit from the patronage that they bring to the Human Needs Project. And their, their attraction to fair shares is that they have a community of social investors that they want to provide capital for the long-term capitalization of more projects of this type. So Nairobi is the test bed. And then when they've got that human needs project working in Nairobi, they will replicate it in other areas of Kenya and Africa. And the last one is your own. It's a coaching development network called Evolute 6. Um, and you've got very interesting arrangements for the voice of the founder, labor, users and investors at the incorporation point. But as the constituencies grow, the voting rights and the dividend rights um, are adjusted to take account of the growing uh, contribution that the, mem the labor members and the user members do. So these are four examples where people have adopted and incorporated using fair shares ideas 
uh, that show that those originating ideas that came out of the Mondragon network can be translated into law in America and Ireland and Kenya and the UK so that we uh, can uh, get more and more of these types of enterprises.